Hello guys, welcome back. This is Alpha Omega. Occasionally, you know that anyway. Uh, this is becoming one of my favourite haunts in Thailand. Not that I ever thought it would, but anyway. Our second trip to Pantutani in two days. We're going to sleep here tonight. Um, I don't know if I'm looking forward to it. I am looking forward to it, I suppose. But look, the video, this video is about... Thais are telling me how to speak English. And that's the truth. That's the truth. I'm I'm arguably a native English speaker. I, I speak Hiberno English. And just as a heads up, you see, Thais complain about this, you see. Just as a heads up, Hiberno English is the English we speak in Ireland. And it's very much influenced, it's very much influenced by the Gaelic language. The Gaelic language has nothing to do with English, by the way. Some people think it has. Um... Tame Quaig and Nee and I am fifty nine years old. It's a completely different language, but the the language you speak in Ireland is heavily influenced in terms of sentence structure and 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 verbiage vocabulary. Um, so it's a little bit different to what you might be used to. But one of the things about Hiberno, Hiberno comes from the Latin Hibernia, which is the Latin name for Ireland. Um, one of the things about Hiberno English, like most variations of English, is it's it's peppered with uh, with um, it's peppered with expletives, and I'm not singling out Ireland in this or Hiberno English in this, but all languages are peppered with expletives. And you see, when I use an expletive in general conversation in English. Thais only hear the expletive and automatically think it's a rude word. The word by itself, yes, it's an expletive and therefore is considered a rude word. But when used in a certain context, it can be anything but rude. For example, as a term of frustration, I'm more than eight seconds into the video, so I think I'll get away with this one. For fuck's sake, you can say that. When you see someone and you're surprised, and I won't repeat it just in case, but, ah, it's Johnny, how you doing? Or it's Bob, how you doing? Um, or, as I said, that's a, that is a greeting or it's a term of frustration. But when you say this, my son says this in the playground where we live, and he says it where his or her family congregate, and they all go, oh, cow put my D. He doesn't speak well. And then she gets on to me to tell me that I shouldn't use that term when speaking to my son. And I defend myself by saying, I don't tell you how to speak Thai, so please don't tell me how to speak English. But they, they deem it that they, they can tell you how to speak English. And it's hap it happened to me many, many, not many, many, a few years ago. I was a teacher in a school here in Bangkok for a period of three and a half years. And this is the truth. One day I was called to the office um, by the principal because there had been complaints by the parents of the children whom I was teaching about the way the children were speaking English. So I didn't know any of this and I was summoned to the office and I was asked to sit down and she asked me a question. And she was trying to be smart arsed about it if you will is that an expletive not in my language it's not anyway she said to me what's a duck and she said it like that and i said i beg your pardon and she said what's a duck and i said a duck is a duck it goes quack quack she said you mean a duck i said no i don't i'm from dublin and in dublin we call them ducks a duck is a duck in dublin but she maintained that I lose my, 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 I lose my Irish phonetic, which, by the way, is more similar to American phonetics than it is to British phonetics. British English is uh, the English that we speak in, say, you speak in Australia, New Zealand, UK and Ireland. But in Ireland, the phonetics are closer to uh, American English because of the immigration thing, uh, immigration thing and all that kind of stuff. Like a, a car is a car in Boston and a car is a car in England or Britain. Um, but we don't speak like that. But I was told to adjust my phonetics to suit the expectation of the parents of the school 
it was I it, there's no prescribed instruction for me as an English teacher to speak British English I speak Hiberno English and that's the way I speak so a duck is a duck and 33 and a third is 33 and a third not 33 and a third I can't say that and Nana is Nana not Nana but that's the way it goes so I won't I don't like being told how to speak English it, it, it actually not just the ties but there's lots of comments comes in on both, the, well, not necessarily on this channel, but on the big picture El Panorama, that I should not say to a girl, you look well. Hello, you look well. Because in other forms of English, this refers to your health. But you see, in Hiberno-English, it doesn't. It's a, it's a direct translation from Gaelic. So, you look well. You, are, you look very good. You look healthy. You look, it's, it's a greeting. And when I say, I've said this before, when I say good girl, it sounds like a derogatory term if you speak British English or American English. But in Gaelic or in Hiberno English, good girl is a term you'd use to, to express to your mother or your or anybody for that matter. On Colleen, what? Colleen is Gaelic for girl, what is good? On Colleen, de good girl. On Colleen, what? So I get a bee in my bonnet when Thais tell me how I should speak English. And not only Thais, but others say native brothers and sisters of the English-speaking world. Well, you see, I don't tell British how to speak English when they say floor when they're referring to the ground. I don't correct them because that's the way they speak. I don't correct Americans for saying aluminum instead of aluminium because that's the way you speak. So people tend to correct the minority if uh, hiberno english is not something that you will be accustomed to because in in mass media you don't you know you don't uh, we don't export a lot of our soap operas and stuff like that abroad so you wouldn't be exposed to it but that's basically it the ties think it's fair game to correct me when i speak my native language and not only ties but others as well well I speak Hiberno English. I'm not going to change for anyone. But why should I? If you're Australian, why should you stop saying Struth? Or good eye? And if you're American, why stop saying do you dig it? By the way, that comes from Gaelic. On digging to means do you understand? But that's a whole different kettle of fish. But guys, I hope you understand my frustration. Because I only bring you videos when I feel this frustration. And I hope if you have felt my frustration, maybe you could share some of your frustrations when speaking English in Thailand, or not just in Thailand, abroad. And have you been corrected for speaking your native language by people who think they know how to speak English, when in fact they don't. Guys, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you click that like button, the share button, the subscribe button, the notification bell, and whatever you do, click the buy me a coffee link in the description. But it's not down in the description. I think it's over there now. They've moved the actual comment section to the left of the screen as you're watching. Oh, so the right of the screen. I don't know which way to point. The right of the screen as you're watching it. Anyway, guys, if you have enjoyed the video, make sure you join me again for another wonderful video. It's a pleasure for me to bring you these videos, and I hope to see you again very soon. Thanks for joining me. Hello there.